everyone, and welcome to another Something Came to Mind. This is my second one I'm doing of this. Uh, this one is a little bit different from the last one. The last one was talking about a plot hole that I noticed in the Spider-Man movie. This one's going to be a little bit different. I recently just watched the final episode of this season of Star Wars Rebels. You know what? It was a lot of fun. I'm really digging this show. It's a really great animated uh, Star Wars film, or not the film, <laughs> animated series. I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. I love all the characters. You know, there's been a couple of dumb episodes here and there, but you know what? I think for the most part, it's a great episode. It's a great series. And the end of the show, it kind of showed a surprise. This is spoiler warnings for anyone who hasn't seen it, but it showed that Anakin's sidekick from the Clone Wars is showed up in it and she is fully grown up and there is a rebel alliance starting to form which of course is why it's called Star Wars Rebels but here's the thing there's something that needs to happen in order for this series to end right and I don't think they have the balls to go there they need to die all of them I'm sorry to be blunt, but they need to die. I don't know what's how this show plans on ending, but in order to fit into the timeline of Star Wars, we need to see a few things. First thing, we need uh, it to line up with the with the with a new hope and the the rest of the movies. And in order to do that, there is one thing that needs to happen. The Jedis need to be gone. The only Jedis that can be left are Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, and Luke. Well, Luke's not a Jedi yet, but you know what I mean. He's Because that's the way it has to be. Luke, in the Star Wars films, the original ones, is the last hope. You're the... the the one who can bring balance to the Force and who can, you know, bring the Jedis back to their only thing because he's the only one left. But in this show, in Star Wars Rebels, we have now three, I thought only two, but we have now three Jedis left in the world be besides the ones that I just mentioned. We got Ezra, who is training to be a Jedi. Kanan, who was a Jedi and is now in training, or who was in training but when Order 66 happened, so he's one of the last Jedis. And now we have... Was it Asana? As Asana? I think it's Asana, the, who was Anakin's protege and now fully grown up. So now we got three Jedi's, three Jedi's left in the world. And in order to, now, at this point in time for the Star Wars franchise, the Rebel Alliance is just beginning. By the time it gets to Luke, it's been there. They've been at war with the Empire for a long time. So, in order for Luke. To Luke's probably at this age, you know, the Empire is in control of everything, but they don't have the Death Star yet. You know, they're they're not in control of everything yet. And with villains like the Inquisitor, we know that there aren't, you know, the Sith isn't like we know that Darth Vader isn't the only one yet left yet of the um, of the you know of the Jedi of the the Sith. So, what we have is we have a character that needs... We, we have... I would say this is... And I'm just hypothesizing here. I would say that Luke, at this point in time, during the Star Wars Rebels, maybe he's probably a kid. He's probably around, you know, 10 to 5. 10, or five, to, 5 to 10 years of age. That's probably his age group. And so we're going to have the beginning of the Alliance. The Alliance is going to be made. But by the time Luke grows up and is in his, what, early 20s, late teens... He needs to be the last Jedi around, and there's only a couple ways they can do that. I think you go, you might have Ezra turn to the dark side and then tr sacrifice himself before it happens and saving uh, the rest of the crewmate. And when I say everyone needs to die, no, everyone doesn't need to die, but Ezra and Kanan do. I'm so I'm sorry, but that's what it, it it it's only the way 
around that is going to be a cop-out. Maybe they're frozen in carbonite. Maybe they're trapped in this pocket dimension. Maybe they get lost in hyperspace and they're gone from everything. But you can't just have them continue and have their happy ending at the end when Rebels finally closes up because then you got Luke Skywalker. He's like, man, I'm really figuring it. I'm just starting to figure out how to be a Jedi Ben's not here, so I wish there was somebody that could teach me. Hey, let's go to Canaan. I heard that the... <laughs> Canaan, the land of Canaan, the land of milk and honey. If you're a Christian, you'll get that joke. Uh, but, you know, um, you know, you, you, there's nobody left. There's nobody left for him to train except for Yoda. And, you know, so for Canaan to not be there... And I know you, you're saying, well, you know, they're writing this much later. I know, but they have to measure up to the timeline that is set up. You know, I was thinking that Clone Wars doesn't make any sense because, you know, what happened to his sidekick? But now his his uh, Anakin sidekick has now moved into the fray. And with Darth Vader now coming after her, I have a feeling, I'm predicting it now, Darth Vader's going to kill her. It's going to be another step in... She's going to try to appeal to Anakin's soft side or to try to get him back to the light side. And he's maybe even going to come close. But in the end, Darth Vader, I think, is going to kill her. I think that's the way it's going to have to go. Because this show has shown they're not afraid of killing people. Because, you know, they're, they're blasting stormtroopers left, right, and center. Spoilers, the Inquisitor dies in this episode. And I think he's pretty much dead. I don't see him getting out of there. The characters are going to die in this show. And I have a feeling season two is going to be a whole lot darker because I think it's going to follow the Star Wars formula. Season one is the hope. You bring the hope that, oh, we can fight against the Empire. We can fight back. Season two, and just like episode two, is going to be the Empire bearing down, doing all the things, and I think they're going to lose some people. Maybe not at the main cast, but I think Dar uh, Anakin's uh, Padawan, who is now part of the show, is going to kick the bucket in this, and I think Darth Vader is going to be the one to do it. I love that they're bringing him back. I can't wait for seeing so much more Darth Vader. But I think that the only way the show is going to end respectfully is they're going to have to. They're going to have to end with only... Maybe, you know, maybe um, the rest of them live, but Kanan and Ezra need to die. Because any other way out, I think it's going to be a cop-out. I think it's going to be a cop-out, and I think it's going to be diminishing what it could be. I think, that, But I don't think the show's going to go there. I don't know if it's going to go there. What do you guys think? Do you think that the show, in order to, should try to line up, or is it going to try to be its own thing and not have to worry so much of the Star Wars continuity? I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't try to say, okay, Star Wars continuity does this, and so we got to make sure we line up with that. Maybe they're going to be like, no, we're going to do our own thing and just make a great show, and if it doesn't line up with everything, then Oh, well, I guess it doesn't. Maybe that's the better way. I don't know. But I'm thinking, in order for me to be fully satisfied, somebody has to die. You know, maybe if they kill Kanan off and then Ezra sacrifices himself but lives in this, you know, time bubble. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe he's frozen in carbonite, like I said. But whatever happens, whatever happens... I think that in order for you to be respectful to the Star Wars franchise, which they've been so far, I think you're going to need to you're going to need to make the hard decision. And I think that when I, it comes to that, I don't know if this show will. The show has showed that it is a lot more deeper than your regular animated TV show, and I applaud it for that. But I don't know if it's going to be able to go there. I don't know. Star Wars Rebels, prove me wrong. And put in the comments below whether you think they should be killed off, if that's a necessity, or you think that you would be okay if they found some way around that. Either way, uh, comment and let me know. So, I'm LazyDude99. This is just something that came to mind. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel. And wait for more coming soon.